Hello, it's been a while since I've uh, blogged, and I would like to use today's film to illustrate the treatment for a very common but embarrassing and oftentimes not uh, spoken about swimming condition called uh, swimmer's thumb rot. Um, this thumb, this is the healthy thumb. This is the rotted thumb. Uh, <clears throat> those of you who recall my Zungsman's, um, uh, four time Zungsman's status at uh, Colony Zungs a few weeks ago will possibly recall that I stepped up on to the blocks for the 200 freestyle with my thumb bleeding. Um, this is the result, I, I think, of some kind of um, fungus or whatever that you get from being in the water too much, or, but what choice do we have? So the treatment um, for thumb rot, and I think this will be of a great deal of help to everyone out here watching this film. First you have to get a product called a first aid um, finger cot. Now, you also get this Dezoxmetasone, something like that, which I think is a high, um, very high concentrated cortisone cream, I think. I'm not sure. Um, don't use it to brush your teeth. I, I made that mistake. And it is also not for up thalmic use. So it definitely is not. I tried that to get rid of the bags under my eyes. But anyhow, so here are the steps you take. First of all, you remove a finger cot. Um, I'm going to see if I can focus. I hope we're all in here now. <clears throat> There's a little bag containing your finger cots. And these items are really unlike anything else you're likely to ever encounter in the real world. So it's sort of difficult to figure out what to do with them. I have found that you can practice putting on a finger cot with a, just a regular ballpoint pen. You take the finger cot, you place it over the ballpoint pen, and you sort of open it up like that, just like that. It's not that hard. Um, I'm going to roll this one back because they, these things don't come cheap. I think 36 finger cots cost about $3.19. Oh, Lord, I think I've blown this finger cot. All right, so then you take a dollop, a healthy dollop of this stuff, and you sort of smear it on the rotted thumb. Okay. And you could sort of anoint it if you wanted to, but you don't really have to. I'm going to use the already opened finger cot, um, just as sometimes I'll use, well, it's just sometimes these things, if they don't break, you can reuse them. All right, they're a little harder to put on once they've been been put onto a pen, but I'm going to try anyhow. All right, just, all right roll it down. Okay, yeah, that's kind of, all right. Ah. Oops, all right, there we go. All right, so the finger cut is on, and really it looks fine. I don't think anyone's going to, raise eyebrows if you walk around in public with one of these on. Now there's one final step. Um, this is only if you have like um, giant thumb, a giant thumb and you have purchased the Japanese finger cots, which I accidentally did. And that is you want to just Use your scissors to get in here and cut the the lip, so to speak, the roll of the finger cut. Otherwise, 
there's so much pressure on this organ that blood engorges the, the tip of your finger and just stays in there. And if it stays in for longer than four hours, you, you definitely want to uh, see a physician. Anyhow, so I'm about to go off to do my weightlifting, and I don't think anyone is going to even notice that I'm treating myself for this embarrassing condition. And I think you can do the same. Don't worry about it. Finger cuts, ointment, practice pen, and um, scissors. <laughs>